Chia Hao. A police officer is bleeding and lying on the ground in the middle of the road. He keeps having memories of his childhood. He has a blurry memory of a woman sitting in front of him. But all of his other memories are clear. Chia Hao says he's been able to see ghosts ever since he was a little boy. And he's been picked on a lot because of it. This has been going on for half an hour. Chia Hao and his friend Chi are keeping an eye on a road that is closed. Chi thinks that Chia Hao would have a better life and make more money if he was a medium instead of a cop. This is because he keeps getting in trouble at work. Like when he pushed a ghost out of the way of a car. When Chi pulls off the road to go to the bathroom, Chia Hao gets sidetracked and a car drives by him. So he rushes to stop it in his own car. Hi Gu. The driver says he's sorry and that he's in a hurry because he hasn't seen his family in weeks. This makes Chia Hao agree to let him go without paying a ticket. On his way back, Chia Hao notices that the taillights are out. And when he opens the trunk, he finds a wallet covered in blood. Before he can do anything, though, Haigu shows up next to him, hits him, and knocks him down. Chi shows up and tries to arrest the man, but Haigu takes his gun and kills him. He also shoots Chia Hao in the shoulder. But just as he's about to shoot again to kill him, the ghost of the man he killed stops him. Yahui shows up to slow him down, which gives Chia Hao the chance to pull out his own gun and shoot Haigu. Sending us back to the beginning of the story, Chia last Hao's memory before passing out as of the ghost pointing to the wallet with blood on it. A few days later, Chia Hao is praised by his bosses for catching a criminal who was very wanted, but the people in charge don't like the part of the statement that says a ghost helped him. They think Chia delusions Ha's are to blame for Chi's death. Chia Hao doesn't want to lie about it, so he won't leave out that part of the story. This gets him fired. Chia Hao doesn't know what to do with his life anymore. Lucky for him, Mr. Chang who is in charge of a secret police unit that can only be reached through an elevator that everyone thinks is broken, comes up to him. Mr. Chang saw Chia Hao push a ghost out of the way of a car. The boy's respect for the ghost who saved him impressed Mr. Chang. So he has the perfect job for him. Chia Hao gets to the ninth precinct after Mr. Chang presses two elevator buttons to get to a secret floor. The ninth precinct is a special unit that deals with ghosts that still roam the earth after they die. Chia Hao is confused because he can see the ghosts, but not hear them. Mr. Chang tells him that he'll learn to hear them when the time comes. At that moment, the ghost of Chi appears. Chia Hao apologizes to him and says he will burn a paper doll in his name before he watches the spirit move on to the afterlife. Next, Chia Hao meets H. Su, a professional medium who lets spirits take control of her and drinks a lot to deal with it. When a new mission comes in, they have to stop talking to each other. So Mr. Chang shows Chia Hao how to use the tools of their trade. There are spells written on the peachwood umbrella to keep bad spirits away and protect good souls. They can talk to the ghosts through the incense burner, which is kind of like a telephone. And the guns here don't use regular bullets. Instead, they are filled with holy water that can get rid of evil spirits. These must only be used on ghosts that can't be saved. The ninth precinct symbol is a ring that Mr. Chang wears around his neck. And Chia Hao will have to work hard to get his own. In the first case, a house in the city is haunted. The young woman's radio keeps turning on by itself. And her cupboard door often opens on its own, letting candy fall to the floor. She sees the ghost of a child wandering around the house at night. Sometimes she tries to explain it away as a bad dream. But when she wakes up one morning and the ghost is holding her, she finally believes it. When Mr. Chang and Chia Hao hear her story, they ask the people living in the house to leave so they can do their investigation. Chia Hao goes straight to the closet and pulls out an umbrella. When he opens it, the ghost of the boy appears next to him. Mr. Chang puts a piece of candy next to the incense so he can talk to the boy and understand what he's going through. It turns out that his parents didn't do the ritual right after he died. Now, the boy's soul is stuck here, waiting for his mother to come back. The ghost didn't mean to scare the woman. He's been longing for a mother's love and care. Mr. Chang tells the boy that he'll see his mother again. And then he uses the umbrella to catch him inside like a Pokemon. This way, they can take him to the office to help him move on. At the same time, Dean Yushu is practicing a speech to sell her rejuvenation treatment at the Sun General Hospital when her assistant stopped her to tell her that Counselor Lin had been in a car accident and was in critical condition because it's important to have good relationships with politicians. Yushu tells her assistant to treat Lin next. She also tells him not to hire another useless thug like Haigu or he will have to deal with the consequences. When Mr. Chang and Chia Hao get back to the office, H. Su tells Chia Hao that he is being followed by a female spirit who won't show herself. Chia Hao isn't sure if it's the ghost of the woman he helped who wants him to solve her case. But Mr. Chang tells him not to get involved because the 9th precinct doesn't deal with criminals. Instead, 
They only deal with ghosts. Xia Hao decides to ignore Mr. Chang's orders and go back to the road where they caught Haigu because he still has a fuzzy memory of a woman. He meets her ghost, Huey's and after lighting the incense. He thanks her for helping him and shows her that he still has her wallet. Ye Huey confirms that she wants help with a nod. And Chia Hao takes her case. A few minutes later, Chia Hao breaks into the apartment Ye Huey took him to. Because he is busy, he doesn't hear when someone is coming and gets hit in the head with a pan. When Chia Hao wakes up tied to the chair, he meets Ju H. Sin, a journalist who owns the apartment. Chia Hao shows her Ye ID Huey's and points to the same box Ye Huey was pointing at to prove his story. Inside is Ye Journal. Huey's which has a picture of the two of them. Now that she thinks Chia Hao can see a Huey, she tells Ju H. Sin that her friend has been missing for more than a month and that she needs help finding out what happened. Chia Hao agrees to help her find Ye Huey. The Ninth Precinct's next case is a house with strange sounds and furniture that shakes all the time. The old man who has been hearing all of this is actually the ghost who is haunting the house. He doesn't know he's dead. And the voices he's heard are the new people who live there. Now that the police are here, the old man walks toward the shelves as if he needs something from them. Chia Hao checks them out and finds a hidden compartment with a box inside. The box is things like a hair tie that belonged to the ghost's daughter. To make the old man's wish come true and help him move on, they need to find his daughter. At that moment, H. Su is possessed and sees the countryside, which shows her where her daughter is. When they get there, the area is full of ghosts of young girls wearing the same dress, so Chia Hao uses the hair tie to find the daughter they are looking for. Then, he opens the umbrella to let the ghost of the old man out. This brings him back together with his loved one. Surprisingly, a ghost Huey's is also there, and her dress is the same as the others. Later, when the regular police show up and start digging, they find all of the ghost's bodies, including a Huey's. The women's matching dresses show that they were all killed by the same person. Chia Hao wants to find them, but Mr. Chang tells him again that he shouldn't get involved. To prove his point, he tells the story of a 9th Precinct officer who tried to help but ended up killing his wife in a car crash, which caused him to lose his daughter. Yu Xu is treating Counselor Lin in a hidden room in the hospital by putting high body goos in a pool. She also tells her assistant to find another one, or she'll use him next. Chia Hao gets a phone call from Ju H. Sin, who has been reading a diary Huey's and heard about her death. It turned out that Ye Huey was pregnant. And the father was Counselor Lin. She was supposed to get checked out by Yu Shu. But Ye Huey disappeared right before that. After doing some research, Ju H. Sin found out that all of the victims had been to the Sun General Hospital. Which explains why they were all wearing the same gowns. Ju H. Sin and Chia Hao decide to pay Yu Shu a visit. When they talk about the victims' gowns, Yu Shu acts like she doesn't know what they're talking about. Yu Shu does admit that she did look at Ye Huey as a favor for Counselor Lin. But that's it. Ju H. Sin is sure that Yu Shu knows something, but since they don't have a warrant, they can't do anything and decide to leave. On their way out, Ju H. Sin sees security cameras and gets an idea. She pays the guard to let them watch the camera footage, where she finds a lot of interesting things that she copies onto a pendrive. The accident didn't leave any scars on Counselor Lin. Ye Huey went to the hospital and never left. And Haigu came soon after her. Yu Shu is also doing her own research. Her assistant confirms that Ju Date H. Sin's of birth meets all of the requirements for the treatment. Yu Shu sends an evil spirit after Ju H. Sin because he thinks she is a good sacrifice. Back to Chia Hao. He agrees to Ju offer H. Sin's to share a drink at her place. He spills some wine on his pants while they're talking. So he runs to the bathroom to wash them. At that moment, the lights go out and Yu Evil Shu's ghost appears. Chia Hao jumps into action quickly grabbing his gun but not his pants as he tries to deal with the fact that his blurry memory is becoming clearer and the ghost of a woman is coming into view. Chia Hao tries to shoot the ghost when he finds him. But the ghost moves too fast, and after a few spooks, it leaves because it knows it can't fight a cop. Mr. Chang doesn't like seeing Chia Hao in his underwear because Ju H. Sin is his daughter. Suddenly, the door to the apartment opens, and Mr. Chang walks in. Mr. Chang tries to ask what's going on, but Ju H. Sin won't let him. She doesn't know why he had to show up now. After not talking to her for years, Ju H. Sin kicks both men out because she wants some time alone. When they reach the streets, Mr. Chang refuses to listen to Chia Explanation Hao's and shoots him with some sacred water bullet. Later, Mr. Chang hits Chia Hao at the office for looking into things against his wishes and getting his daughter involved. Chia Hao wonders why they are police officers if they can't do justice after Mr. Chang leaves. H. Su says that Mr. Chang is the police officer in the story who lost his wife. 
so he wants to keep his officers from making the same mistakes he did. Mr. Chang calls Ju H. Sin to try to get her to drop the case. But Ju H. Sin is still mad at him for leaving after her mother died. At that moment, H. Su gets possessed and writes disaster on a piece of paper. While Ju H. Sin notices something strange on the security footage, Yu Shadow Shoes has horns. Before she can do anything, Yu Assistant Shoes shows up with two thugs and takes Ju H. Sin away. Mr. Chang goes to his daughter's apartment when he hears something strange on the phone. There, he finds all the clues she's been collecting and the paper dolls he gave her years ago. Mr. Chang decides to break his own rules, so he goes to the hospital, beats up the guards, and then talks to Yu Shu. He asks for her daughter back in exchange for the evidence she's found. But Yu Shu laughs as she shows Mr. Chang her black eyes and tells him that Ju H. Sin will be the next person to be sacrificed. Then, she uses her black magic to catch Mr. Chang and send him to the roof promising to make it look like he jumped on his own. A few hours later, the police find the body, and the story is all over the news. It seems that Yu Su made up some papers. So everyone now thinks that Mr. Chang had been going to the hospital for months because he was crazy. Everyone in the 9th precinct is sad. But H. Su is the one who is hurting the most. She tells Chia how her story. As a child, she had two dads. Her biological father, who died when she was three, and the man who adopted her and liked to beat her up. She got sick of it one day and ran away. But she fell asleep in the middle of the road. She woke up later in a temple, where she stayed until she turned 18 and Mr. Chang asked her to join the 9th precinct. That's also when she found out that Mr. Chang was the one who found her and took her to the temple. In return, Chia Hao tells a story about himself. A fortune teller told his father that he would have two wives, so he married Chia Ghost Hao's mother to make the prediction come true. Chia Hao was the only one who could see her but he still loved her with all his heart. The fuzzy memory is of her watching over him when he was sick. Chia Hao was picked on by other kids because of his abilities. And when he couldn't take it anymore, he started ignoring his ghost mother until she went away. Since then, he can no longer hear ghosts. This is why Kai Hao wants to give the ghosts he meets today a fair trial. H. Su finally gets what it's like to want to help the ghosts. So he decides to break the rules and work with him to get rid of Yu Shu. First, they catch the assistant by surprise in the hospital parking lot and take him to the office. The assistant won't talk because he thinks Chia Hao doesn't have the guts to shoot him. However, H. Su has changed the bullets in the gun, and Chia Hao shoots the man on the shoulder by accident. Then, H. Su grabs the gun and puts it in the mouth of the assistant, which makes him start talking. Yu Shu has been using people who were born on the same day as her and her politician friends to keep them looking young and to make sure they live longer. A ritual and a sacrifice are needed for the treatment, but the medium is the most important part. H. Su and Chia Hao are fully armed, and Chia Hao wears one of Mr. Chang's paper dolls as a good luck charm around his neck. Then they drive to the hospital and easily beat up the guards before finding the secret room with the altar and an unconscious Ju H. Sin. Yu Shu stops praying for the devil to start shooting at them when she hears them coming. Chia Hao hides behind a statue, and H. Su goes behind a door that accidentally locks behind her. H. Su is now surrounded by ghosts, which she uses her sacred weapons to fight. It's a short, clean fight, but after all the ghosts are driven away, H. Su's abusive father shows up. H. Su takes a step back and closes her eyes to focus and remind herself that she is no longer a child. Chia Hao and Yu Shu keep shooting at each other. But Chia Bullet's house never hit Yu Shu because she is protected by a magic shield. Chia Hao gets an idea when Yu Shu throws Mr. Chang's ring at him as a joke. He puts his guns down and walks toward Yu Shu with his hands up, acting like he is giving up. Once he's close enough, he spits at her the sacred water bullets he's been holding in his mouth. At the same time, H. Su takes a quick sip of her drink and spits at her father's ghost to kill him for good. Yu Shu shoots his shoulder to push Chia Hao back. But it's too late. Her body is already showing how old she is, as H. Su said he would. The most important part of the ritual is the medium, which gets rid of the dark energies around Ju H. Sin. Yu Shu uses what little energy she has left to try to shoot Chia Hao again. But then Mr. Chang's ghost shows up to distract her, and Yu Shu finally dies. He says that this is the second time he has saved Chia life. Hao since his amulet led the bullet to his shoulder the first time, Chia Hao can finally hear ghosts again which is a very important change. Mr. Chang takes Ju H. Sin out of the ritual pool and talks to her until she wakes up while H. Su finally opens the door. She can't see her dad, though, which is a shame. A few days later, Ju H. Sin holds a funeral for her father, and Chia Hao goes, 
wearing Mr. Chang's ring around his neck. Mr. Chang can move on in peace now that his daughter has brought the paper dolls she loves so much. Later, Chia Hao goes back to his old house to remember his childhood. This lets him see his ghost mother for the first time in a long time. They make up, and the woman can finally move on with her life. On news shows, politicians deny that ghosts are real and that they have anything to do with the strange Yushu case. While the officers are watching this report at the precinct, H. Su gets possessed and floats up into the air. With a deep voice and white eyes, he says that the end has come. Then she falls to the floor, and the cracks that start to form around her look like wings. 